What's up everybody, welcome back to our channel. It's Colin J, and tonight we're gonna head out on the lake behind us to go chase after some fresh bullfrogs. We're kind of at the end of bullfrog season, so we gotta get out and do this while we can, while there's still some frogs to catch. But the main reason we wanna go out there is because we had a crazy idea for a dish we wanna try for lunch <laughs> tomorrow. So I'm just gonna get straight to the point. Y'all ever heard of chicken and waffles? You've yes, heard of chicken and waffles? Yes, yes. And for yes. those of you that know, chicken and waffles is a great combination, so we figured you know, since bullfrogs are so comparable to chicken, and in our opinion, better, better than, than chicken, chicken. <laughs> that we're gonna go on ahead and try to make some frog legs and waffles tomorrow Ooh. for lunch. Is it crazy? Or is it crazy good? I don't know. I have a good feeling it's gonna be crazy, <laughs> crazy good. I mean, bullfrogs are so delicious and waffles are so delicious, and yeah. I feel like that combo is a match made in heaven. And I don't know if this has ever been done before on YouTube, so we want to be the first to try it out to let you guys know if y'all need to try this for yourselves. <laughs> but like I said, we first have to go out on the lake and catch some bullfrogs so we can make this frog legs and waffles dream a reality. <laughs> we're both pretty confident we're gonna be able to get some bullfrogs because just the other night we went out with Daniel and Houston Arms from the Arms Family Homestead and we saw quite a few bullfrogs on the lake. Houston caught a few that we mm -hmm. ended up catching and cooking on their channel so definitely check out their channel. We'll have a link in the video description but he also let a few get away. Yeah. We were trying to snag them up with the jigs and some were just so big and massive that they fell back into the lake so we're gonna try to get some revenge on those frogs and hopefully we can go back to the same area and get some in the boat for ourselves. So uh, we're not really running out of daylight, it's already dark, yeah. but we do need to get out there and do it quick. So we're gonna head out there and see how many we can put in the boat. We hope you guys are excited to tag along with us with this crazy <laughs> frogging mission that we're about to go out on. So if y'all are, do us a huge favor, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of these future wild and crazy frog catching videos. Woo. So you ready to go? I'm so ready. Let's go. <laughs> I didn't see it, you were blocking it, but. I'm sorry I blocked that, but that was really cool. He saw me and he took off and I I got him. That is sweet, way to go. First frog of the night and he is a dandy. Look at those legs, let me zoom in on him. Look at that, what a dandy, good job. <laughs> we're not gonna let him get away. Yeah, we are not getting skunked tonight either. That is yep. good. We're hearing a few frogs calling like over here on our left side, but we heard this one here right in front of us. We had to make sure we came and gave him a look and we found him right away. Nice. We're gonna be eating good tomorrow. <laughs> get him. Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, get him. Oh, 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 so we got our second frog of the night. I gotta zoom out on this thing. We are too, too close. All right, so we've got our second frog of the night. Doesn't really matter how you get these guys. We got him in the foot. Good job, Jay. Woo. Way to go. We are two for two on frogs two tonight. Two. You can't beat that hookup ratio. <laughs> right. That's awesome. All right, guys, we found another big frog. Jay's going in with the jig. Let's see if he'll eat it. These late season frogs can be very finicky. And that's why we're trying to stay our distance. <gasps> And oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah! Got him! Ooh, talking about them being finicky, you gotta keep your distance. We upgraded to the twelve foot rod today. Normally use a ten footer. Oh gosh! Got the twelve footer, oh, and uh, Jay's got a big one in here. Hang on, I got yeah, turn your line on so we can find. He's out! He's out! He's out! Oh! <laughs> oh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I got the big one. She's got the big one. <laughs> it tried to get away. He spit the hook. Came to me. I snatched him up. Now Jay's got him again. Woo. Look at that guy. Turn sideways. There we go. Big old bullfrog. And I'm not sure if you can hear to our left. There are a bunch calling yeah. oh, out yeah. that way. A lot of bullfrogs. That's yeah. really exciting. It is very, very exciting. But I think that's our third one, right? Yes. Yep, two on the jig and one barehanded. We're going to try to get some more on the jig pole. And then we'll try to probably get some more with our hands. But it's been a really good night so far. Yeah. I, think we're, I think we're three for four so far. Woo. Good deal. Look at me. 
me. <laughs> oh my goodness. We had to get up on this rail. <laughs> Look at that. Yes. I didn't think he was going to do it. I did not think that probably would do know, it. No, I didn't think he was going to do it. I had to put it right on his face to get him to commit <laughs> to it. I had to spot, but we put, it, we put a different jig on. We were using a light, just big feather red jig. And that last frog spit the tail of that big feather. So we put a smaller, more, more compact jig with a little bit heavier jig head so we could swing it out there to him a little bit easier. And uh, it paid off. There's my first frog of the day. He's got something weird in his stomach. It feels like a crawfish or something. But sweet, we got our fourth frog. There's several more calling around. So we're just now getting to what we believe is the frog capital of this lake. <laughs> there are so many here and they're calling like crazy. So it's a good sign for us. Let's get him in the cooler really quickly without losing our other buddies. And uh, let's see if we can catch ourselves a couple more. Woo! Oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah. Woo! Woo! That was wild. <laughs> We've just about ruled out that any bullfrog that's sitting out in open water like that is not going to be catchable with the jig. So we just got to sneak up on them the best we can and go full claw mode on them. Look at that. You want to grab right there on their back above their waist. And uh, you pretty much never miss that way. That's a solid frog. We got a little bit of lettuce with him. We don't <laughs> want that. We don't want the lettuce with us, but <laughs> that's a good one. And that is our... What, fifth frog? I think that's our fifth frog. Fifth frog, look at that. Woo. Big in. Nice catch. Big in. <gasps> oh, shoot, he wanted that. Dang. Dang. It? Dang it, man. You can't catch them all, I guess. I thought he had it. My light, as you can tell, kind of, it's probably not even blind y'all's camera. It's about dead. So we're gonna have to try to get out here and catch as many as we can before our lights die. Jay's light still is pretty good, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Here, Merry Christmas. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you get back to doing your frog Here's slaying things. <laughs> yep. Yeah! Oh, incoming. Oh, he's in the boat. I got him. <laughs> I just threw that one right to you. <laughs> yeah, can you turn your light off? Sorry. There you go. Sometimes you just look at a bullfrog and you can tell that they're hungry and they're ready to eat. And I definitely got that vibe from this frog. So I just knew I was going to catch you. <laughs> Guys, can y'all even hear what she's saying? Listen to these cricket frogs. I know, it's so loud It is here. deafening. I can't even, I mean, I feel like you have to scream so I can hear you. I think I know what she said. She said this frog was hungry and it was obvious because he's now in our boat. And it is time to put him in the cooler. We're going to try to get a couple more. Our lights are running low, so maybe try to get one, maybe two more, and then we're going to head back to the house. Oh, baby, do it. I don't know. Oh, oh my gosh, he's huge. Oh, he's huge. Oh, he just hit you in the face. What the heck? You got him? You got him? Oh, I got him. let's see this beast. Wow. Smacked with the bullfrog. You did. Did he actually Smacked hit you in the face? By a bullfrog. <laughs> wow. You just barely got that one too, it looked like. That's the biggest one in the night. That thing is huge. <laughs> that is oh a huge God. bullfrog. Megalodon. So I stole Jay's headlight so I could film her from back here. And uh, she couldn't see him that great, but no. he smoked it. <laughs> nice now one. I just brought him right to my face. Ah! <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> Yeah, look at the size of that one. That dude is huge. Yeah, definitely the biggest of the night. Nice. That's Way to go, awesome. Jay. Do it, big boss. Do it, big boss. Oh, she get him. Woo! Got him! Got him! <laughs> Another toad or a bullfrog. Another frog. <laughs> Big in. Turn sideways. I want to see this. I want to see his patterns. I want to see those big old legs. Look at that. Monster. Monster bullfrog. Monster bullfrogs. <laughs> Good snag. hook them and get the momentum of them coming back here towards the canoe and most of the time they'll fall up in here and you can you can get the rebound and grab them it's crazy it's like the frogs just all of a sudden just everywhere we look there's frogs i guess we just kind of found the mother load i don't even, I don't even know where we're at right now we're kind of lost back here in the swamp but it's all good because there's bullfrogs literally everywhere and we are filling this cooler up tonight 
<laughs> he wants it. Oh my goodness. Didn't have it. He didn't have it, did he? Mm-mm. Oh. Come on. This is a good frog to end on right here. <gasps> oh my gosh! Come on, it. buddy! Oh. Is it not his mouth? No. Really? Wait. <clears throat> nah, oh. Nice okay, that was in his mouth for a second. Are you just playing with it? He's like a killer whale. He's grabbing, he's biting him and grabbing his foot. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. My God. Oh. <laughs> oh, he had it. Oh. That was his mouth, wasn't it? Yep. Why did you spit it out? He hates this thing. He's like, get I out of here. Frog, I have never seen a frog do this. This is insane. Yeah. He is like almost hooked. Oh my gosh. What the heck? Try lift him? Yes, that looks so weird. You got it. Ah! That looks so funny. Oh my god. Oh, Ow, my head. Oh, her head. <laughs> okay, this is getting a little crazy out here. <laughs> Your fishing pole is stuck in my life. <laughs> She falls stuck in my headlight. Ow. That was crazy and really funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. He is hooked very well on the bottom of that lip. I guess that's the only way we're going to catch that frog. That was insane. Never had a frog that committed to eating the jig, or I guess not committed to eating the jig. He was all about it, though. He did not get spooked. He was holding his ground. And uh, we eventually got him in the boat. It was it was chaos. I think this is our 10th bullfrog or so. It's a great catch. We're going to throw him in the cooler. Like I said, I think that's probably all we need for tonight. So I think we are going to pack up our stuff, head on back to the house, and we will catch you guys when we get back there. All right, we just made it back to the house and we got some nice frogs in the cooler. I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to show you the frogs because if I open the lid, they're probably just gonna jump out and take off. But, but uh, we're gonna risk for the biscuit, right? We'll try to give you a quick little hook. There we go. Let's see. How many do we have? Can you count them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11, 11 big bald. juicy frogs. One shy of a dirty dozen. Yep. Hey, but that's all right. <laughs> the limit here in Arkansas is 18 per purse, so legally we could have kept 36 tonight, but yeah. 11 is great. We definitely saw 36, but we yeah. don't need that many if we, if we had more time and our lights didn't run out, we could have yeah. definitely caught two limits. Yeah. Easy. It's crazy. We didn't think, we did not think we would see that many frogs yeah, there tonight. We did not put a dent in the bullfrogs. There were so many out there. That was yep. crazy. I was not expecting to find that many. Maybe we can go out and catch some more another but night. But the conditions tonight were perfect because it was a warm night and rain is on the way. There's and a huge gets, storm coming. That gets bullfrogs really frisky. But anyways, we're going to call it a night and we will catch up with you guys in the morning. Okay, y'all, in case y'all couldn't see what we were working with last night, take a look at these monster bullfrogs. Man, we've got 11 big bullfrogs in the cooler, and now it is time for us to get them cleaned up so we can make some frog legs and waffles. Let's go. And just like that, guys, look at this. We've got a huge bowl full of delicious and fresh and juicy, plump frog legs. This is gonna be a lot of fun. All we gotta do now is get these guys battered up and uh, we'll get these guys in the fryer and we'll start making the waffles and it's gonna be a fantastic time. All right, Jay, what you making? I'm making waffles. <laughs> oh yeah, we got some instant pan waffle, pan I said pancake, waffle mix here in the bowl. It's not a whole lot, but it should be enough for us to make a decent amount of waffles. Hopefully. Went down, snagged ourselves our waffle iron. It's heating up. Let's see how hot it is. Oh, it's, oh, it's ooh, steaming. Ooh, steaming. I think that's good, right? <laughs> I don't know. We don't make waffles very often. Should be good. So but at we'll least we're not. Out. Yeah, at least we're not gonna forget to spray it though. Yeah. Was already off. <laughs> oh, there we go. That looks saturated. <laughs> you just top. Great. That's fantastic. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully we don't burn the waffles. Here we go. And in the situation that we do burn the waffles, 
we do have some guys hanging out here in the freezer. Some Lego My Egos. Might have to do those. But we figure for this occasion we had to make our own waffles, right, Jay? Right. Oh gosh. Gotta get the full experience. Okay. I dig it. Let me get a look at that. All right. <laughs> now we close shop. And now mm. you gotta keep an eye on those. Yeah. So while Jay's keeping an eye on the waffles, I actually have to go and start cooking the frog legs. So I've got this little thing here. I got some eggs. I gotta whisk them up so I can dip the frogs in there. We're just gonna do a basic little um, just flour batter mix. I'm gonna dunk them in flour first. I'm gonna dunk them in the egg mix. I'm gonna dunk them back in the flour. It's gonna be nice and crispy and, and chicken like and just, just, just it's gonna be so good. We had it the other day basically the, the exact same way and I could eat frog legs that way for the rest of my life. It's so dang good. So let's get this guys fired up, get them ready, throw them in the hot grease, and we're gonna put the two together and it's gonna be amazing. Don't you think? I'm already making a mess. It's okay. <laughs> messes are fine. Messes are fine. We can clean up messes. But you can't have frog legs and waffles every day. Oh That's right. Woo! We did it! Look at them! That looks good! Those look dang good. How do they feel? They feel a little crisp? Yeah. Nice. Perfect. Yeah, they... Yeah, I those, think they are perfect. Those literally turned out perfect. Okay. I right. knew it was hard to mess up waffles unless you just burned them. Turn this thing off. Yeah, just, yeah, just unplug that thing. All right, I guess you just need a plate. Yes, let me get a plate. I don't want to burn them. I don't want to burn the buns. Butterfly plate. And get them waffles. Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks really good. All right, we're doing the transfer from the stacked waffle maker up. to the plate. We're gonna get these boys stacked up. Mm. Nice. Do you want some waffles? Do you want some waffles? Some frog legs and waffles, buddy? Does that sound good or <gasps> does that sound gross? Huh? We about to find out, aren't we? Mm-hmm. <gasps> What'd you think? What'd you think, buddy? We had some frog legs and waffles. Show everybody your frog legs. Oh, look at those frog legs. Can you kick them? Can you kick those legs? Can you kick those legs? Can you kick those frog legs? <laughs> okay. Oh, buddy. Buddy. Look how big Cypress is getting. Oh, he's smiling. Oh, he's smiling. Oh, there it is. Ha <laughs> 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 ha. He's so cute. <laughs> you love your bouncer, buddy. <laughs> you <Yeah>. love it. <laughs> Aww. Aren't you precious? <gasps> Are you making those animals move? <laughs> Are you kicking those animals around? You Aww. kicking your frog legs? No. Oh. Oh. Oh, you're so cute. All right, welcome to our workstation. We've got our frog legs in the bowl. We have our egg whisk right here. We got ourselves a little tray to put our our floured up legs. As we, I'll, sh I'll show you what I'm talking about. And then we got a bag of flour. Okay, super easy. We'll just take our frog leg from the bowl. We'll start with like, I don't know, four or so, just because this isn't a very big bag. I ran out of big bags. We'll do those four. You don't want to have too many in there because you don't want there to be any chance that they don't get fully coated. You just gotta shake them around a little bit. We'll lay these guys out on this little, this little lid here. And I will show you why I like to do this. So now we will take our frogs that we have laid here on the lid, dunk them in the egg. It's a double battering, a double dipping. Should get nice and eggy. So that when we return them to the bag, it sticks to it really, really, really well. And I'm gonna do this with every individual frog, just one at a time, just so we get the best even crunchy coating that we can. Okay, easy enough. We'll grab the next frog leg. I always say it's the worst part of it because your hands get all sticky and it gets all clogged up with flour, but it's always worth it. Always worth it in the end. Because if you don't, then they just don't get as crispy. Okay, let's see if this guy is heated up. I think so. I like it. And we'll take our frog leg. Dump her in. Ooh. Yeah, we rocking. We rocking today. Two leggies. Put 
Weather report, guys. It's starting to rain, so we're going to make this quick. Our frogs look amazing underneath here. Ah! Ah! Two, three, four. Oh, my goodness. Oh, we got to take the fryer inside. We're getting lit up by the rain. Hold on a second, guys. All right, so there's our frog legs. We had to save them. They were about to get rained on and get all soggy, but they look fantastic. Look how crunchy they look, Jay. Yeah, they look delicious. I'm glad they didn't get soggy. I know. They look so good. <laughs> we brought the deep fryer in here in the kitchen. We don't like to deep fry inside the house just because it smells of the place, but yeah. you got to do what you got to do on a rainy day. We tried to beat the rain, but it did We weren't happen. fast enough. We weren't fast <laughs> enough. We got this bag here of frog legs left to do, so let's get them fried up and let's put them all together. Oh man, our second batch of frog legs looks so good. Look at that. Ooh. Look at the crunch. Look at the crisp on that boy. Ooh. Load that tray up of these frog legs. We are so close to being able to eat these guys. They smell so good. Look at this creation, guys. We've officially made frog legs and waffles. And it looks pretty dang good, if I say so myself. Yeah, and although, as you can probably hear, it is raining, it's not going to stop us from enjoying us enjoying a nice little picnic out here underneath our umbrella out here on the back <laughs> deck. Much better than eating inside. It yeah. feels really good. It's just it's just raining a little bit. Not good for frying frog legs. It feels not, froggy. It feels froggy. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if we hearing frogs calling in the distance. <laughs> They'll probably be doing it again tonight. Might have to go back out there and get some more. What do you oh, think? Oh, yeah. We might have to. Might have to. <laughs> but what we really got to do right now is we've got to take a bite of this frog legs and waffles so i guess we're going to do it the same way you would do chicken and waffles you got you some butter on top get you a little a syrup. syrup you can put a little syrup on there yeah oh man you ready for it oh yeah mm. smokes that is like the most delicious thing i have ever <laughs> seen in my life well, the most delicious looking thing. We don't know if it's delicious yet. So, we've got to do the official taste test. Yes. And I think that since you know. just got it all fixed up, you're going to go first. It looks good, but this just feels so strange to me. Right. I guess you just start off, just try the waffles. Okay. And then, um, you know, and then take yourself a bite of frog leg. You got a little syrup on the frog leg. <laughs> Maple syrup's gone on everything, right? Yeah. Hope I didn't put too much syrup on there. No, nah, I don't think that's a thing. How's your homemade waffle? Okay. <laughs> Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna pull a piece of meat off the frog. I think that looks really good. And I'm going to pair it with... Waffle. Waffle. Oh, okay. Here we go. Please tell me it's amazing. At least decent. Mm. It's different. It's very <laughs> different. But it's pretty good. Pretty it's good? It's pretty dang good. Yeah. It's I'm, not bad at all. I'm just sitting over here just like, I, I cannot wait to try this out. Like, I'm going for it again. You're going for it again? Well, if you're going for it twice, it's good. You're not like freaking out and be like, ugh, uh -huh. it's gross. No. Frog legs and waffles. Who would have thought? It feels like the frog leg definitely sticks out more than the waffles when it's they're together. That's because the frog leg is so much better than a waffle. Mm. I like it. <laughs> so it's not a bust. Mm -mm. Okay, I've got to try this. Pretty good waffle, huh? That's a good waffle. Made by yours truly. That's a good waffle. <laughs> and then we're going to have to break off a piece of this frog leg. Here we go. <laughs> frog leg. Not the, not the, I guess it's kind of a messy way of eating, but here we go. <laughs> Frog leg and waffle. Here we go. That's good. It's different. You know, <laughs> it tastes like something you get at the, at the state fair or something. Oh yeah. It kind of tastes like funnel cake. It's probably just because it's like waffle and like this fried crispy stuff. But like you, I'm going in for round two because that was that was good. It's like not different in a weird way at all. This means it's got a little bit more meat, so let's see if a little bit more meat on that one does the trick. Here we go. Ooh. That is very, very good. I mean, 
I, I don't see anything wrong with it. It's just great. I'm probably going to eat like some waffles separate and eat some frog legs separate, but you can definitely eat them together in harmony and there's no like weird contradictory taste. There's nothing nothing weird about it. It's, no. it's great. It's really, really good. And the frog legs are delicious. Yeah, the frog legs are dang They're good. They're so crispy. They're I mean, always, the frog look legs at are that. always good. They're so crispy. Mm. That's what you want. You want crispy frog legs. You know, like I said, it's it's messy to do the whole egg wash deal and get your fingers all sticky, but like I said, it's always worth it because the frog legs in the end are just so dang crispy. Mm. Okay, let's finish. Let's let's just smash this thing. Yep, let's smash it. All right, guys, to say that the frog legs and waffles dish was delicious would be a complete understatement. It was so, so good. I mean, the two paired seamlessly together. It's just like chicken and waffles. You can take a bite of frog leg, a bite of waffle, you know, eat them at the same time or just eat a frog leg here and a waffle there. And it's just, <laughs> it was fantastic. And we would definitely recommend it to each and every one of y'all that likes to go out and catch frogs, you know, clean, clean and cook frogs. And, um, you know, if you're looking for something new to do with your frog legs, frog legs besides just frying them or grilling them, um, you know, turn them into a delicious frog and waffle dish. Yeah. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? It's so good. <laughs> but guys, as you can see, it's still raining. Um, there's a chance there might be some more frogs to be caught in the future. You know, like I said in the beginning of the video, it's late in the frog season, but I mean, the frogs were doing it last night, so there's no reason why they shouldn't be doing it for the next, you know, week or so. Right. So maybe we can go back out there, catch some more frogs. Of course, we want your input. If you'd like to see that video, let us know down in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this one, we would appreciate it if you could leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our future outdoor adventures. We're, We're Colin and Jay, Jay, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Bye, guys.